All right, so we're told that 39 and 40 refers to this diagram that we have here. Well, it's a frequency distribution table, in fact, a group one, um, showing the average mass of a group of children in a school. All right, so we have 28 students, for instance, having a mass of 21 to 30 kilograms. We have 34 students having a mass from 31 to 40, etc. right? And here's what they asked. No, the number of children who have a mass at least, at least means what? Well, that figure or more. So if I said I want at least $5, what do I mean? It means that I want the least amount I should get is five. So five or anything more. So at least means, at least X means X or more. So in this case, we're talking about 41 kg or more, right? The number of students who have a mass of at least 41 kilograms or more. So 41 kilograms start from this point here or more right up to this point, right? So we basically add these guys. And 12 plus 38, that's going to be 50 plus 20, that's 70, all right? So that's 70. We add those together, so the answer is 70C. Let's go down to the next one. The lower limit of the modal class. Let's look at the modal class. What's the modal class? Well, the modal class is a class or a group, right? They want a class itself, not a frequency. The class is the, the, the group. So if you say you have a class, um, like students are in a particular class, they, have, they group them because maybe because of their age, right? Practically, based on certain age, they're in certain class. Uh, in this case, we're looking at they're in class according to the kilograms, right? So these are the classes. And the modal class is a class with the highest frequency. And the one with the highest frequency um, is this, this, this class here, because it has 38, 38 um, children. And the lower limit is the lowest number that we're looking at. That's the lower limit. All right, this one is could be the upper limit. All right, so it's going to be 51, and we select that, and that's it, 51. And they're smart enough to put on those 0.5 and so forth, the trick you could, anything with 0.5, those are usually the boundaries. Okay, so they didn't ask for the lower boundary, they asked for the lower limit. And so students were writing the exam next year. Prepare for them to ask you that same question, but ask, to find, ask you the lower boundary or upper boundary. Now let's look at this one.